Their encampment at New York University was removed by the police early in Friday morning. But in the afternoon, these students took their protest back to the campus. Because I am so angry at the city of New York and the government of the United States, which has basically taken a position of repression and violence against the students just for protesting, just for raising their voices. They are facing such incredible violence for standing up for their rights and for standing up against genocide. Freeze, freeze, freeze the students were joined by hundreds of people who marched around downtown New York, demanding an end to the war on Gaza and to U.S. military aid for Israel. But not everyone was happy. Several men approached the protesters and accused them of being Hamas supporters. Students here are trying to maintain a peaceful protest. A man came in here criticizing them. He's been trying to provoke them. But people are surrounding him with kafirs in order to prevent an escalation. Students are angry. At least 12 pro-Palestinian students were detained in two campuses in New York City on Friday. They were taken one by one. For the police, the eviction was a success. Most of the students were accused of misdemeanor and trespassing. A good operation. No one got hurt. No incidents. Both institutions are happy. We're happy and we're moving on. But people here are not. A few blocks away, students and protesters gathered for a Shabbat prayer. They want to use the Jewish Day of Rest to send a message of peace and coexistence. Students here believe they're fighting injustice and vow to continue on the streets demanding an end to the war. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.